Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 17th, 2019. So yesterday, those bulls came running in. Boy, they really came rushing in. Um, as we approached the market open, they just continued to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And they really came running in yesterday uh, at full speed in a display of force. But it was really kind of interesting. I'm going to go to a 15-minute uh, chart. And notice right here, it's like after an hour of pushing uh, as hard as they could go, to the upside they were uh, bulls were buying with both hands the breath of the market was very very strong all of a sudden they just seemed to shut down um, almost as if a switch flipped and they kind of exhausted themselves all of a sudden and we spent the rest of the day kind of moving sideways and down here in the Dow leaving a bit of a concerning candle here obviously that shooting star type top provides us a little bit of a pause a little bit of well just a little bit of contradiction to the overall strength that they were showing early on in the morning now remember keep in mind that a shooting star top requires a follow through to the downside so without a follow through to the downside if we are unable to push down that shooting star top really doesn't mean anything if those bulls continue to find their uh, inspiration to push higher take a look at the overall trend our trend remains very very strong here the bulls are solidly in control of this trend holding up very very well and even if we do get some kind of a pullback in the market if we pull back into this range and hold in here there is nothing wrong with that for that potential bull to continue moving on higher perhaps we just need a little bit of rest now this morning future well all night long the futures traded a little bit lower they're trying to push them up this morning um, but we have still just a, a modestly bearish open starting to develop here this morning ahead of earnings reports and economic calendar reports so let's watch that close the bulls may eventually push this right back up the been so tenacious they don't like to have any bearishness in the pre-market so we'll watch that pretty closely but just a little bit of caution because of those candle patterns but remember any rest in here that holds some support um, in this chart I think we're in pretty good shape let's take a look at the spy SPY whoops The SPY getting us a hanging man pattern up here, which once again is a little bit of concern in that hanging man pattern, but we have to have follow through to the downside for that to really play out. And as of right now, only a modest amount of selling is coming into this market this morning. So very, very low, um, um, selling as at least at this time uh, showing up so even if we pull back just a little bit I think we're still in really good shape our overall trend continuing to look very very good and uh, even a pullback into here if we were to rest or pull back certainly does not um, affect this overall trend of the market so little rest wouldn't hurt us at all but once again it was kind of interesting yesterday how we rush into the market and then all of a sudden it's just like somebody flipped the switch and shut it off and said okay that's it we're tired we're out of energy and um, that little pullback started to come into play so pretty interesting day um, in the way it played out let's take a look at the cues now the cues happen to maintain the strongest um, look and by the end of the day of all of the indexes pushing up strong holding up strong not giving back uh, much at all in the way of selling as you can see we pushed up and then once again just 
flatlined the rest of the day. There wasn't really any selling here, but we just went flat all of a sudden as everyone realized, oh, I guess we're tired. We, we've spent everything we've got to spend, and um, now we need to rest for a little bit. So bullish trends still in play. Any pullback or rest that holds in this area would be uh, bullish. Please keep in mind that we have this gap up to this open here. If we were to gap down, that could be a problem leaving behind that little abandoned baby pattern up here. But I don't think that is the, that's the case. As a matter of fact, of all of the indexes this morning, uh, uh, the Nasdaq futures are trying hard to remain bullish and at least open flat this morning from yesterday's close. So they're trying really, really hard to hold that up. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM is dealing with some price resistance in this chart. As you can see, if I drop a line across here, we're just dealing with this price action from all the way over in here, trying to figure out if we have enough energy to push on through. One thing I have to say about IWM is it has been showing some nice signs of strength and giving us that recovery. And if we can get IWM really to participate with the rest of the market, I think that will be very, very helpful. So. Any rest in here I think is still okay, holding above this air, little area of support. Um, little dancing around in here I think is perfectly acceptable. What we do want to see is that eventually pushing on through to the upside, starting to pop through some of these resistance levels in this chart, pushing us on up and participating with the rest of the indexes. That'll help an awful lot if that can occur. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX was kind of interesting yesterday as well, where the VIX pushing down sharply yesterday, and we came down here and we touched this level of support that I've drawn in months and months ago, this level of price support, and we touched it almost to the penny, kissed that support level, and bounced off of it yesterday as a little bit of fear came in, maybe just a little bit of complacency where we kind of extended ourselves too far too fast, a little bit over exuberance maybe as we rushed into the market um, yesterday morning and that little bit of fear started to come into the market. We can see that if you take a look at VXX, VXX on a 15 minute chart, you can see that little bit of fear creeping into the market here yesterday, pulling that back up, but we didn't fill the gap by the end of the day, that gap down that we had yesterday, and doesn't seem to really have been able to um, catch a whole lot of support um, or buying support in there. So I don't think there's anything really to fear, at least at the moment, in that VIX. Just showing that we may need to rest a little while after such an expenditure of energy to the upside. Uh, keep in mind that if we drift down below this area here, we, we can drift down in here, but we start to show a little bit of extreme complacency where that fear just drops completely out of the market. No one seems to care. So don't be surprised if we bounce around in this area for a while. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And as you can see yesterday, we had a very sharp move back up. And at one point in the morning, we were all the way up here. We were testing that bearish re reversal zone, but that slide sideways and, and slightly down through the rest of the day helped us quite a bit here in T2122. So that leaves this open door for more upside potential here in the market. Right now, Dow futures are down 20 points. They have been down as much as 40 points this morning. And we're just kind of flopping around in here trying to, well, the bulls are just trying to to put on that brave face this morning. Futures were down all night last night, so please keep in mind that even if we have a positive open, there could be that shift south um, sometime during the morning to test those overnight lows. After that, we may be clear to bounce back up, but don't be surprised if we test those overnight lows, even though the bulls are trying to put on a brave face this morning. Now, of course, the things that could change that could certainly be in our economic calendar calendar for today and let's take a look at that. Our economic calendar 
has some important reports this morning that we'll want to make note of. First off, we have that housing starts number. And the housing starts number is expecting this to remain very bullish. The consensus estimate, anyway, is expecting it to remain very bullish. Perhaps the bulls will find some inspiration in those housing numbers and can hold on to some bullishness here in the market. Industrial produ production comes out then at 9.15. That's also one of those market movers, but right now they're not expecting, uh, can, the estimates are, and that stays pretty, um, pretty solid. And then we have the jobs opening report those have just been so extremely strong i don't expect much change there it's only going to be if there's a surprise in these numbers that could really move us around keep in mind we've got this parade of fed speakers here today um and we'll want to uh, pay attention to that but it's unlikely we'll learn anything new from those fed speakers so keep that in mind today as we head through that time period we have a few earnings to be made aware of but nothing that's really going to be um particularly market moving um ctas Cinta, whoops CTAS reports today um, after the bell. Uh, that's a, a big stock. I don't know whether it would be much of a market mover. Probably the more uh, the stock that more folks are going to focus on is FDX. FDX will be reporting today. There was some news that Amazon has stopped some FDX shipping. That could cause a problem. Then this morning we have JBL. JBL reporting, and you can see it looks like they have already reported bullishly here this morning. Uh, moving on up, uh, NAFS. Uh, Navstar um, reporting this morning and they are gapping down. So just a few um, earnings this morning that might move us around just a tiny little bit, but nothing of major consequence there. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to, uh, you know, pump a whole bunch of smoke out there and, and, and really, um, uh, provide lots of hype or prediction um, on direction. It's really to look at the technicals, the price action of the chart, and try to determine how, or help try to determine how everyone might want to approach the market for today. So if you find this helpful, if you find these useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. And also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. That really helps in continuing to grow the channel. And you guys are awesome. Thank you for that. Um, everyone who takes the time to do that, I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are amazing, and uh, so thank you so much. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind that anytime I show a stock in these uh, videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own evaluation and determine whether or not this stock happens to fit you. Let's take a look at what I placed an alert on yesterday, Signet Jewelers. Signet, um, pretty interesting in this big, strong move up. And now we're getting this pullback. Now, I think there's a chance that this pullback could continue a little bit, or it has that possibility that we may catch some price support here in the chart. If we can catch a little price support right through this area, rest in this area and then start back up there may be some um, an opportunity setting up here but i might expect a, a couple three days rest in here uh, signet had a good earnings report looking very very good so let's keep an eye on that it's one of those cheaper stocks that may have an opportunity to um, get moving here and get going another one i kind of keeping an eye on here is um, um, 
CCG. Now, CCG has broken through its 50-day moving average to the upside, and we're kind of resting and dragging that 50-day moving average out to the right here. And as you can see, our shorter-term averages are starting to move on up, providing some price support in that chart. Now, although it's pulling back at the moment, I'm watching this pretty closely. This rounded bottom breakout has potential. It's one of my favorite trading patterns. And if we do hold that 50-day moving average and the bulls come into that, picking this up, I want to watch that pretty closely. So I placed a price alert right here. If I can get prices to pop right on back up through that area, then I will take a shot uh, on CGC to the upside here. And let's watch that pretty closely. Again, one of those cheaper stocks. There's not a lot of those right now in the market. There are just so many expensive stocks that are pushing the market up. But there are a few of these out there looking pretty good. So a couple of those more expensive stocks. Let's take a look at that ML. NX. This is a stock that you guys know that I've been talking about and talking about and talking about for some time now. And I was looking at this right here. I was looking at this potential breakout and the rising lows in here. Well, we certainly did that last week. We popped here, held in a one day pullback on Friday, following through to the upside. MLNX still looking very, very good. You guys might want to keep that on your list. Watch that for that next possible entry into the trade. You also know that I have been going on and on and on for a long period of time. Uh, this was my alert on UNH. That has certainly played out, as has Amgen. What a move on Amgen yesterday. Finally really popping and going hard yesterday and looking really good. Congrats to those who might be in those trades. Very, very good charts. If you guys also remember, I talked quite a little bit about Halliburton and that Halliburton uh, trade was right across in here watching that breaking that downtrend holding a support and that thing holy moly what a good move there in Halliburton so congrats to folks who are holding that yesterday take a look at Apple Apple held up very very strong moving on higher we were looking at that last week up she goes and also Microsoft helping to hold the that Nasdaq um, up now both of these are up significantly I would wait for the next entry into the trade I wouldn't chase that up um, watch those um, as they settle in there um, just make require just a little bit of rest as you guys know I've been mentioning NEE NEE is a utility and I've been thinking about um, entering this trade with a little you know just looking for a little bit of a um, utility a little more security in a trade uh, with a market up this high and you can see NEE made that move yesterday popping through uh, breaking these highs so keep an eye on NEE if you're looking for a utility that might be a place to look and it's looking really really good right at the moment procter and gamble also made that move popping through that resistance high but ended up pulling back by the end of the day kind of like the rest of the market just kind of drifting along but i think as long as we hold up in here and hold this trend right over here um, as long as we hold this trend, I think there's still upside potential here in Procter & Gamble. Let's keep an eye on that. May require just a little bit of rest, but um, looking pretty good overall. I also mentioned MDT yesterday to keep an eye on MDT. And MDT made its move yesterday, breaking through. May require a little rest and a little consolidation up here, coming back to trend. But then let's watch MDT as we broke out to these new highs, looking really, really strong overall in the chart. There are a lot of stocks that have been reaching out, breaking new highs, pushing to new record highs. Lots and lots of stocks looking like that. It's almost impossible to uh, to uh, find a stock that um, hasn't had 
an extraordinary move of some kind. We are extremely bullish in this market. So the one thing about um, trading a market like this is it's oftentimes you're looking for lots and lots of, you're just seeing stock after stock after stock holding bullish moves. And how do you determine which one do you want to trade? Well, one of the first things I do, guys, is I narrow my list from a watch list. You guys know I'm an option trader. I narrow down a watch list of stocks that I know have good quality options. If they don't have good quality options, I don't want to waste my time with them. They don't make my list. If um, I also narrow my list by those stocks that I am most interested in uh, price-wise, if a stock is extremely, extremely expensive, sometimes I eliminate that from my list because I want to be more um, effective with my capital, uh, cost effective with my capital. So I will narrow that list by price. And when you have a market like this that is extremely bullish, that's one of the easiest ways to narrow that list down for good quality trades. I get that question a lot, and I thought I would include it in this morning's video. So what that means is, is I work from a qualified watch list. I don't chase around every stock in the market. I don't chase around everything popping up today. As a matter of fact, I, I, I honestly feel like if you're chasing a stock that's already made its move today, um, then you've missed out on the best part of the trade already. Um, work from that watch list. Find those trades that are setting up and wait for that trade to come to you rather than chasing it after the fact. You'll find a lot better results in your trading and you'll enjoy your trading a lot more because you're not in that mad dash or rush chasing the flavor of the day. Hope that was helpful. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And uh, please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and leave that brief comment if you feel the video was worthy. Everyone have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.